Welcome, and we're going to call this uh, meeting to order on uh, Monday, November 7th. Um, this is the case review subcommittee. Um, okay, so Ed, do you want to do your deal? Uh, sure, do you want to go back and have the, the, the completion, a full circle of the NCIC discussion with Sergeant Anaya? Yes. Oh, yes. I, I don't have the information on that. So okay. I want to make sure from your report that. So you received a copy of the findings letter from uh, APD, which stated that the Department of Public Safety found. Oh, I didn't get that. Yeah. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Where did it come from? Where did it, it came go? From, it came from the chief. Uh, in the chief sent the response letter to the board in reference to NCIC in general. Okay. And on that letter, he attached also two letters. One, that there was a finding of a violation for a civilian, and that the Department of Public Safety did not find a violation as it relates to Sergeant Anaya in this case. They found that there was a lawful purpose. And do we know that an NCIC check was done, finally? This is what we based our initial investigation on. It was the memo from, from communications which stated that in fact, our complainant's license plate was entered into NCIC. So that answers that question. But you can't have both sides of that be right. Correct? Correct. Okay. So the other thing that I had, I went through this, and it was disturbing to me at the last board meeting to, um, to hear uh, everything and to have had uh, Mr. Grover's letter um, so late in that in that um, action so I was glad they came to the board meeting I was glad they had a chance to speak and and to talk to us um, and it, there's two things that I that I think came up in that meeting and I feel like it's not resolved and, and I look back in the paperwork and I don't see it and so one of the things that came up was um, that Mr. Anaya uh, officer Anaya uh, was a whistleblower on something but when I look back at the letter and I look even at Mr. Grover's letter I don't see that and I don't know how that is not information that was presented to us okay it was presented by him to us but, at that but not that not before time. that it's yeah. never been a, it's never been a part of any of the formal complaints right. it's simply it's simply an allegation that Sergeant Anaya and his counsel make in relation to Major Tyler addressing the training class after lunch, after it was brought to her attention, that there were uh, APD personnel discussing the training and discussing the uh, department in a disparaging way. That happened, um, and Sergeant Anaya and his counsel have a theory that it's related to him, to the department trying to intimidate him because he is a he is the whistleblower in the time card fraud case. It was never a part of our complaint except for uh, Attorney Grover's allegations against myself and Investigator O'Neill that we needed to recuse ourselves and not do an investigation. Well, we didn't do the investigation. Internal Affairs did the investigation. So. But it is something that they put into every argument as it comes us as it comes to part of this case. That this talk after lunch at the academy was an attempt to intimidate Sergeant Anaya because he's a whistleblower. It has nothing to do with our case, but for the fact that the incident that gave rise to so our beginning and our end has to do with did he or did he not run NCIC and did he or did he not have a purpose in doing that? Correct. A, le a legitimate purpose in Correct. doing that. Okay. So he came and talks to us and says, you know, this guy is, uh, you know, uh, stalking me and I feel like I need to do that. So you could run his plate. If, as I understood what they said, you could run his plate and not run NCIC. Is that true? That's what he said. Yeah, so is that true or not? If whether or not NCIC was was run, my question is, can you run the license plate and that's all if you just want to know who he is? My understanding is that once you put the plate in, you can't.
can't singularly do just the MVD search. That it, it, that it does a check sensors. for it does a check for whether or not that vehicle is wanted for any purpose. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. The guy that represents oh, the union. President Willoughby? Willoughby, yes. He was the one that was specific. I remember him specifically saying that you could run plate and be it separate. Mm -hmm. If you can do that, it wasn't done in this case. Okay. That's, okay. Good. That's good enough. So the whistleblower thing had nothing to do with our role in uh, Sergeant Elias, uh, co the complaint filed against him, correct? No. No, that's not correct, or yes, that is that correct. That is correct, no. It didn't uh, have anything to do with it. So, uh, if that being the case, then we have nothing to do with the whistleblower business at no, all. Nothing correct? to do with it, all right. Okay, so that's why it wasn't brought up to us because right. it wasn't relevant. It's, no, it's not relevant to what the board's decisions that were made. It's all a part of a very tangled web that involves Sergeant Anaya and APD and other cases. Okay. And this just happened to be one of the components. Okay. The other issue that he brought up is that because you and Aaron were there when this happened, that um, that you uh, had an agenda uh, in support of uh, Tyler, Mrs. Tyler, um, um, Major Tyler. Um, there's no. Is there any foundation for that? No. Okay. And why would you? Why would you? And you did recuse yourself. You had somebody else investigate it, right? Correct. Okay. Um, okay. That's, and now we know for all, a fact that the NCIC was run. That's all lies spread on the I Albuquerque blog. I have no relationship with Major Tyler. I don't email with her. I have no personal relationship. I know I never met Sergeant Anaya prior to. Okay, so they have their own thing going on, and it's agenda. making them yeah. all crazy. You don't have to justify that here. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. I just didn't feel comfortable leaving it the way it was because there was new information that was dumped on us, and I felt like that wasn't. Uh, I needed to know for sure that it wasn't relevant. I want to make sure I understand. Nothing happened to Mr. Naya, correct? That's correct. He was exonerated. There's nothing that happened to him. No. No. He was exonerated nothing by NIA. Correct. So, no. And the chief just said he didn't, whatever he did, doesn't no, the, rise the, to the, the Department of Public Safety made that determination. And, and the chief is, is... They did what they were supposed to do finally. They made the referral to the Department of Public Safety. The Department of Public Safety came back and said what he did was okay. It was within policy. Okay. And we and what, our complaint was not about Sergeant Anaya ever. It was about the process of the investigation and whether or not DPS was contacted. Right. Which, which is what the rules say. Right. Which is which they admit they hadn't done until until it was brought to their attention that they hadn't done it. And that's what and that uh, was the letter Lieutenant that Garcia I, was talking about. Correct. I got gotcha. you. Okay, I'm done. Fine with me. Thank you. I appreciate the clarification.